The smart shooter counter drone scopes worked so well in Ukraine, the British Army wants them. Hey friends, Wes O'Donnell here, Army and Air Force veteran. In the US Army infantry, a soldier's natural talents are further refined by the skills gained from constant shooting practice. We shot so much that I still have hearing loss in my right ear. Turns out, putting cigarette butts in your ears for protection because you forgot your foamies doesn't quite grant the same level of protection. On the M4 range, the furthest targets were positioned at around 300 meters. Now at that distance, the life-size green plastic man-shaped targets were roughly the size of a pencil eraser held out at arm's length. Put that 300 meter target in motion and things get even more difficult. We weren't aware of it, but our brains would perform complex calculations. The percent of the bullet drop due to gravity, wind direction, the relative speed of the target, direction of the target in two-dimensional space, the ambient temperature and humidity, our own breathing, and the barrel length of our rifles, among other factors. All of this was performed in under a second and helped us put a bullet in the same place where we thought a target would be. But like many aspects of our modern lives, technology has largely removed the cognitive load. As deadly consumer drones have made their large-scale debut in Ukraine, it quickly became clear that Ukrainian forces needed a technological solution. Some of those solutions came in the form of guns that fire electromagnetic noise in an attempt to disrupt the drone's communication with its operator. But not every soldier is equipped with these anti-drone specialty weapons. What every soldier is equipped with, however, is an assault rifle. But shooting a small flying drone hundreds of meters away that can move in 3D space would be difficult or nearly impossible for even the most talented shots among us. That's where the Smart Shooter Scope comes in. Officially called the Smash System by Israeli company Smart Shooter, this scope can be fitted to the tops of Western-style assault rifles. It comprises a see-through optic sight where its onboard computer locks and tracks a target's movement in the sight. The system then places markers where it wants the soldier to shoot. According to the Israeli weapons manufacturer, the system provides kinetic protection against evolving UAS threats to dismounted forces by featuring built-in targeting algorithms that can acquire, track, and hit small drones. The system is said to reduce the chance of misfire as it only releases the trigger of the weapon it's mounted on if an optimum shot is possible. It even compensates automatically for the wind. So the soldier identifies the target independently or using the detection system guidance, locks on it, the system automatically tracks and then the user pulls and holds the trigger. The system synchronizes the shot and ensures the target is hit. According to the company, Smash ensures a one-shot first round hit day or night while reducing engagement time. It has a 250 meter range during the day and a 100 meter range for night operations. It doesn't matter if you are after physical exertion, if you are under physical or moral pressure, if you're gasping for air, each bullet will hit its target. The question is, how do you convert a simple assault rifle into this weapon? A precision shooting instrument for infantry soldiers. The name of this system, Smart Shooter, an Israeli company founded nine years ago. This rifle add-on ensures precise hit of moving targets, regardless of the soldier's level of training, including notoriously difficult to hit drones. Back in 2022, an undisclosed number of smash systems were donated from Israel to Ukraine. At the tactical level, every soldier in a standard Ukrainian infantry squad can't be expected to watch for drones. So at the squad level, it makes sense to assign a sort of drone duty to two or three soldiers while the rest perform their ground level mission. Once a drone is spotted, directions are called out and every squad member equipped with a smash would then combine fire on the incoming drone. The smash system also works against human targets, which by the way is a terrifying thought if you're the one being targeted. This makes shooting an enemy in close proximity to civilians safer and far less likely to accidentally hit civilians 
It would also presumably help prevent blue-on-blue -blue or friendly fire incidents. In the infantry, when we were expected to move under fire, we would stand up, sprint, and lay down in the time it takes to say the words, I'm up, he sees me, I'm down. We did this to minimize the time that we were fully exposed to an enemy looking for something to shoot at. In this new era of tech targeting, the fundamental way that an infantryman moves at the individual level may need to be rethought. I suspect smoke grenades to obscure optical targeting will make a big comeback. The Smash X4 doesn't appear to have infrared capabilities yet, but that's an easy upgrade. I reached out to my contacts in Ukraine to ask how these scopes were performing against drones on the battlefield. The answer, well, they're performing extremely well. There's just not enough to go around. Ideally, every Ukrainian squad would have at least one smart shooter scope. Now, smart shooter hasn't disclosed the price of the Smash system, but we can do some simple math to estimate the cost. In July, the British Armed Forces announced a deal worth 2 million US dollars to purchase 500 Smash systems for the British Army. Let's see, uh, carry the one. That puts us at roughly $4,000 per scope. But of course, that's not counting training, spare parts, demo units, all the things. Even if they were $10,000 a scope, that would still be a pretty good deal as far as optics go. The British Army expects to start fielding their smart shooter scopes by the end of 2024. Oh wow, it's already November. That's now. Regardless, I can't help but feel a little sad for the end of an era, where the raw talent or basic skill of shooting accurately is now outsourced to technology. Not to be outdone, the US Army's 2025 budget request includes $13.5 million for handheld anti-drone devices to equip a full division. A large chunk of this money is earmarked for Smart Shooter's Smash system. That's it for today. Subscribe if you're not already. It really helps me continue to make content like this. And as always, glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Slava Ukraine.